January 12, 2010, Haiti was a country in desperate need of outside help. This provided an opportunity for international aid organizations to reach out to donors on a devastated country's behalf. With billions collected, many Haitians are still left with their hands outstretched asking for help. But because of a lack of transparency in aid distribution and the inability of several aid groups to assist Haitians who are still struggling, the people here are not too keen on non-governmental organizations, NGOs. Mark Schuller is a professor at a U.S. university who has been living in Haiti and studying aid distribution for over a decade. He says the Haitians see cheated. There's definitely uh, a distrust. There's definitely a, a deception. There's definitely frustration on the part of the population against uh, who's getting the aid now, and that's NGOs. If, if the government was getting that money, they would be frustrated with the government. But the NGOs have been getting the money, and they know that. I mean, because they hear, uh, you know, this or that NGO saying, we just gave 60 million, or we just received 100 million, or, you know, there's, there's constantly reports on the radio and the newspaper about that. So they, they, the population is aware and, and knows that that money is being made uh, because of the earthquake, and they don't see any real effect of change. He points out that it is challenging for new NGOs, which were not in Haiti before the earthquake, to get their feet on the ground, and that could explain some of the exorbitant administrative costs being reported. But he concedes that some NGOs wasted money donated to help the Haitian people. At least eight cases of NGOs that offer their foreign, foreign staff housing allowance of 2500 a month. 2500 a month is an acceptable rent if you're in New York City. In Port-au-Prince, 2500 a month is, you know, it's absurd. You, you look at the car rentals, you know, you look at all the other private, you know, security, all the, you know, all the, all the incidentals, all of them are foreign companies. International estimates suggest that thousands of NGOs are on the ground here. However, Haitian government figures show that only approximately 400 are registered. So as NGOs come under increasing pressure to account for the billions of dollars in aid money spent in Haiti right after the earthquake, in tomorrow's report from Port-au-Prince, we'll tell you just how much Jamaicans gave to the aid effort and what this money is being used for. Reporting from Port-au-Prince, Haiti for CBM News, I'm Khalil Gale.